A Monster Wrote Me a Letter by Nick Bland The Boy A monster wrote me a letter today. He said he was coming to my house to play. But what if he is scary and won't go away? What if the monster decides to stay? But a scary monster wouldn't write. He'd come and scare me late at night. This monster chap is so polite. He might not even scratch or bite. But what if he's green or blue? And if his teeth are poking through, there's only one thing left to do. I'll have to write a letter too. The Monster A little boy wrote me a letter today. He thinks that I'm going to his house to play. There's been a mistake, but what do I say? He expects me there on Saturday. The letter that he must have read was meant for monster cousin Fred, who lives underneath the bed. Now I must meet the boy instead. I've never met a kid before. I must remember not to roar or hide behind his bedroom door. He'd send me home at once for sure. The boy. What on earth do monsters eat? Sloppy slugs and rotten meat. I'll have to find a monster treat, like codfish heads and leather lizard feet. I'll put some prickles on the path and put piranhas in the bath. I hope my voice is deep enough to grunt and groan instead of laugh. The monster. I'll have to wear a shirt that's white so I don't give the boy a fright. I must remember not to bite or creep around the house at night. My fingernails will need a file. I haven't bathed in quite a while. I'll take a bath. I'll learn to smile. I'll comb my hair in people style. The boy. I'll empty out the kitchen bin and make sure all the lights are dim. I'll take the bowl the fish are in and fill it up with toads for him. I'll put some cobwebs around the place and stick some green stuff on my face. I'll bring my sister just in case he needs another kid to chase. Saturday. Right on time at half past four came three soft knocks and nothing more. I had one final practice roar and went to open up the door. I must admit, admit I've never seen a monster look so nice and clean. Apart from being short and green, he didn't look the least bit mean. He said hi. And I said, boo. I asked him if his shoes were new. He asked me how my prickles grew, so nice and thick and pointy too. I taught him how to catch a ball and used the phone to make a call. He taught me how to creep and crawl and eat an apple, core and all. Now he's moved in beneath my bed to live here with his cousin Fred. And when I'm scared, the monster said to wake him up and chat instead. I'm not frightened anymore of monsters crouched behind the door. But one thing that I know for sure, those monsters really love to snore. <laughs>